All right, this is the second half of the Re Reconquista. If you didn't watch the first half, it's gonna be in the top right, pinned comment, description, probably everywhere. Long story short, we're kicking Castile's butt. Portugal is gone, Crab Dance. AE is really not so bad, and because the game wants me to, I'll do a little bit of colonialism as a treat. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, well, that's fun. Well, I do kind of need France to not hate me, so maybe, maybe that's okay. Maybe that's not that bad. But first, I'm going to decrease all the autonomy. Hey, you know what would be actually really cool if I got this one province? Just that one last province. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing I need, please. All right, if I'm going to get anything out of this for the last little bit, uh, I guess it could be the colonies, maybe? Sure. Come on, man, really? You really want to have this fight? Okay, I'm just going to grab three of these guys, send them to Brazil. Brazil. Seriously, nothing? I get nothing from that beast deal, really? Aragon gives cores to Naples, bruh. Alright, fine. But I'm definitely not helping anymore. You see, the secret here is that I don't actually want France to win. And I have nothing to gain, so I might as well just sit here. Oh yeah, I can also sell titles and get rid of that autonomy. Pretty sure I have to do that for like one mission, probably? Yeah. In fact, not just one mission, it's like the entire rest of this chain. Alright, fine. Remove the autonomy. Alright, now let's convert some stuff. I guess I could get rid of over sight by the ulema and instead i could get enforced unity of faith all right war's over defeat oh how unfortunate <laughs> how tragic oh no what will we ever do with that i guess we'll just have to fight a weak france later on darn you know i thought i was missing something and i just realized that the andalusian tier one reform this one right here it doesn't have the same thing as the ikta like we lost the ikta taxation ability which andalusia used to have considering the unique thing that andalusia does get is like kind of mid at best i'd prefer if we had that back thanks you know i'm starting to think this new world is gonna look pretty funky by the time we're done with it we've taken out one major colonial power already castile's kind of weak and the best they're doing is just taking a look at this point france is also kind of weakened because you know they don't have burgundy in england they lost a war to burgundy so i don't know how well they're gonna do either anyway apparently we've done enough to get a conquistador that's cool i guess wonder if that guy's a historical figure the first african to explore north america neat yeah, i'm also just gonna settle like right here just to stop some else from doing that i guess i should also probably get our unique naval doctrine marines eh, they're okay i guess treasure fleet income though i know there's a way you can stack that in a disgusting way i think it's uh exploitation of the new world plus council of the indies plus this naval doctrine and you get like ridiculous amounts of gold anyway i'll go ahead and take that okay i have a lot of admin right now and i'm ahead of time on tech so i should probably decrease that inflation you know the massive amount that we have before i do that though i'm gonna go ahead and give this to the burgers to make that a little bit cheaper. I think I'll even go ahead and summon the diet, see if I can get the burger one. Colonize any province in the Pernambuco area. I don't know what that is. Pernambuco. Ah, this one. Right. Uh, I guess we could probably do that, but it's gonna take a while, so. Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. Anyway, now it only costs 51 to reduce inflation instead of 75, so that's not bad. Hey, birth of colonialism, I forgot. I mean, that's like, that's us. That's our whole thing. The perks of, uh, killing off everyone else who could possibly spawn it by this point. That gives us enough points to finish off our exploration ideas and should spread fairly quickly all right time to finish off morocco and mazab apparently wait a second that's weird why is that why did i fail that i don't understand maybe i'm not allowed to go to war i don't know i'm confused oh never mind it's because this guy moved into that spot thanks that's cool really appreciate that search for el dorado yeah sure why not okay so once i convert that one province this last remaining one the game doesn't really want me to convert anything like ever again right like that's what we're getting getting at, I'm pretty sure. I just have to convert this province. And then once we're done, I don't have to convert any of this stuff. Yep, nothing to convert. Okay, that's cool, I guess. So in that case, I guess strengthening the demi would be a good idea. The problem is I don't want to take this yet because if I do, then we'll never finish this mission. All right, I'll take this and I'll take all of that. Beautiful. All right, there we go. For 20 years, we can get war score costs versus other religions decrease and perma claims. And uh, yeah, looks like we could use those. We'll just give it a couple more years first. <laughs> wait, wait, we actually found El Dorado? Hold on a second. And it's right here? I, I don't know how it's right here. That's kind of weird. I mean, how much gold is there around here, really? Not not, not a lot. I mean, it's possible, maybe. Anyway, that's cool. It's uh, in Brazil, too, so that's pretty neat. All right, finally, we can finish off the plight of our kin. That took a while. All right, and that colony's done. We should probably head over to the Ivory Coast, just so we can actually make money from Brazil. This certainly won't be the last war with Castile, but I have been fixing my aggressive expansion and making a lot of countries like me so hopefully we can just like do back to back after 15 
years? We'll have to see. All right, Marines are ready to go. I'm gonna send them down here to this coast. We can also take that guy back, put them down here, and we'll send these guys over. Actually, let me get rid of you. I'm gonna replace you with some Marines instead. Also, I should probably make it very clear that I want all of this territory. There's a low chance that France would take it, but you know, a chance is still a chance. You know what my favorite part of this game is? Demanding land without occupying forts. I have occupied 99% of the country, but not the capital, so I can't finish this war. I can't take any land yet because Castile, I, I, I don't know why. I don't get it. I get it's meant to prevent you from taking random land in places you never actually tried to siege, but come on, man. I mean, we have a direct land border. This is my capital. That's his capital. There shouldn't be any problems here. Now, I know for a fact that Castile's gonna end up being three wars because once Castile gets smaller, then the province war score for each of their provinces increases. So by the end of this war, it's probably gonna make them over 100%. So that being said, uh, there's really no point in taking a 100% province peace deal. Besides, we're gonna have to wait a little while for that AE to decay. So I'll just take the rest of their money, these provinces, including these islands, just to make sure they can't really colonize anywhere, and we should be good to go. Apparently, that's also given me enough money to embrace the institution. That's convenient. And we've also completed the Caliphate of Cordoba, giving us a lot more claims to work with, and a little bit of admin power. Actually, that's a lot of admin power. Wow, I really have to stop muting my microphone. Basically, we completed this mission. Anything else? I don't know. Anyway, we finished this off, which just gives us claims on the stuff we already have, so, um, anyway. Next, we do have to deal with Tunis, but they are allied with the Ottomans, and that's kind of awkward, so, uh, we're gonna ask him to break that alliance, thank you. I also did embrace the institution, meaning we are the number one great power, not bad at all. Hey, there we go. We have a trade company in Africa, so that's gonna give us a 75% cheaper naval reformer, not bad, and, uh, 20 years of sailors. Right. Thanks, game. That's cool. Alright, two things. One, I realize I'm stupid, and I could have put on strong duchies for a really long time. Second of all, uh, I can slap on the integration policy, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started on integrating both of these countries. Oh boy, Franco-Ottoman alliance. This is the most disgusting alliance block in history. <laughs> France, Andalusia, and the Ottomans. Dear lord, the three greatest powers working together to screw over the rest of Europe. <laughs> I wonder, do I actually need this? Let's see. Nope, Merchant did not need to be there. Alright, let's send them over here instead. There you go, that's more money. Although at this point, I do make the most money, so I guess, like, we don't really have to have that. Ooh, that's not good. Hold on, we have to get a little bit of morale, then go back in. Turns out you should probably have uh, at least a little bit of maintenance. You know, just a tiny little bit. More than zero, at least. Let's decrease some more autonomy. I should be able to make a second army and then invade Aragon. Any resulting coalition is probably not gonna be that bad, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. It's just like a couple of provinces, it's not that much. Okay, so basically we are such an incredibly wealthy country. Uh, I think any coalition at this point would kind of just be like a joke. I don't know why I keep worrying about a coalition when like our alliance block has the most troops on the planet. Like <laughs> the rest of Europe combined is like looking a little shaky compared to us. So uh, I, I don't think that'll be much of a problem actually. All right, then Burgundy, we're full occupying and we're going to try and get that 100% peace deal off of them just to make sure it's a while before they come back. Okay, maybe not like a complete 100%, but like close, you know? Yeah, that's probably fine. And for Aragon, it looks like we have a slight, you know, tiny little problem here. It's probably okay. You know, it's it looks worse than it is. See, so yeah, it's totally fine. Except for Venice joining when they have positive opinion. That's kind of weird. You know, that's not supposed to happen. During the war, I also integrated those subjects, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, reduce that autonomy. And we're past the 100 ducat a month mark already. Not bad. There really is just so much dev in this area. Uniting it early like this is a massive benefit. Low autonomy, high dev, gold mines, things are looking pretty good. All right, we've taken back Valencia. Gives us a little bit of decreased unrest and increased missionary strength, which is just kind of okay. It's really not that great, to be honest. Apparently, the game does want you to convert more. Hmm, okay. Don't know what all of that tolerance of heathens is for then, but okay. And the weirder part is that you get negative 0.1 monthly piety, right? Which steers you towards more missionary strength. So I, I really don't know what they want us to do with this. Anyway, for the low price of 274 mil power, we can finish off our offensive ideas. Privateer thing, I mean, it's not really that great, but we'll take it because it's free. At least we get a chance of capturing ships, if nothing else. That's odd. France is still not taking exploration ideas. I don't remember if they usually take that as the third one, or I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the second one. I don't know. Anyway, admin ideas, France, lol. Solid beam. Ooh, looks like that governing capacity is getting a little bit uh, closer 
place there. Looks like I already gave out the land rights, so uh, I guess I could still give out Vimy land rights. That's not bad. And then I could also just build a couple of courthouses. Oh no, I don't think I uh, raised the maintenance. Wait a second, hold on. Uh, they're probably still going to be fine. Yeah, they're okay. I'll just keep that up a little bit. Anyway, next idea group. That is a really good question. Obviously, it's going to be uh, one of the admin ones, but I don't know if I want to go with religious or expansion. Depends on how try hard I want to go here. Uh, at the end of the day, I really don't feel like going try hard. Religious ideas would be better because once you end up in India, you can just use religious ideas to conquer half of the subcontinent. It's also less aggressive expansion, which is of course like the best part of it. But sometimes you just feel like playing a kind of a chill Andalusia game, you know? Sometimes you just want to do a bit of colonizing, a little bit of vibing, even if yeah, it makes less money. I don't care. I'll pick up that second colonist. We'll end up getting a third one soon as well. Just gonna make sure we uh, dominate the entirety of this trade here. See, look at that. The coalition's dissolving. It was never a problem. Okay, this colony's done. Uh, just as we're starting this other one. Pretty sure this is the one we want. Yeah. Go ahead and grab that one in the Congo too. Of course, we'll just trade company everything because I don't really have to convert those. Oh, come on. Really? After I used the mission to make him better? Seriously? Oh, you have to be kidding me. How we get this bozo on the... Who, who even is this guy? Below average. Cringe. Leave. All right, new merchant. Where should we put this guy? I guess getting that little bonus from Sevilla would be nice. It's not like we can really get much from the Caribbean. Brazil just moves itself. That's okay. Ivory Coast, we have one. This moves itself. Yeah, that's okay. We can just put it in Sevilla. That'll be 10% more income, I think. Seriously? Really? Air dies. Sultan dies. We get this random guy. Umayyad dynasty, though. That's cool. Do we already have that dynasty? I don't actually know. Anyway, he kind of sucks. And we have low legitimacy, which double sucks. Yep, not great. Well, I can... Royal Mary the Ottomans again, but I think I'm going to dissolve this alliance. I was actually supposed to a really long time ago, but I didn't for some reason. There's like a pretty decent chance Tunis is just gonna like re-ally the Ottomans because I'm stupid. I was supposed to uh, destroy them a long time ago, actually. Oh, come on. Really, France? Seriously? Right now? I removed my alliance with Tunis and they're like, yeah, bet. Uh, yeah, look, I just, okay. That's cool. That's a lot of fun. Uh, They just made, yeah, they just gave legitimacy to the coalition again because, yep, okay. Well, in that case, it would be really funny if I allied Austria. Like, I think that would be really funny. I should ally Austria. Yeah, and they've gone ahead and allied the Ottomans again. Ah, that sucks. I'm so, wait, sorry, what is this? Offer to trade favors for getting an heir. Bro thinks he's a Christian or something. What's the point of that? It doesn't do anything. I will disinherit him if he sucks, though. Okay, he lives. That's fine. Oh, I could ally Burgundy. That's really funny. Yeah, let's do that. Friendship ended with France. Burgundy is my new best friend. All right, Age of Reformation is here. I'll turn off those war taxes. And the war with Castile should actually be pretty soon. Yeah, just a couple more months. I'll make it kind of short. I know I can't fully annex them, so we'll just take a little bit, make it like, uh, I don't know, five, six year truce. And we can finish them off at that point. All right, truce is up. We'll make this quick. All right, I think that'll be fine. I'll just make sure it's impossible for France to get any kind of claim on them. So I'll just take this little coastline here and then everything else should be uh, one war. Pretty easy. I mean, there's always the chance that they do something stupid, but I don't think that's going to happen. They don't really have the money to colonize anything, so they're probably not going to. Maybe I should start taking a look around a little more often because that is a ridiculously large Timurids. Holy. And not to mention Muscovy also kind of going crazy. I don't know how, but Sarah Gilgir popping off over here. I did a world conquest as these guys once. It was a, uh, okay, it was like a horde world conquest. It's not that different from like every other horde world conquest. Except I stayed to Sarah Gilgir. That was cool. Anyway, yeah, that's a really big Oirat. And I imagine you, you actually don't have the mandate. Who has the mandate then? I don't know. Probably someone I can't see if there even is a mandate. Well, and it's number three, baby. Let's slap that down somewhere in Caribbean, maybe? I mean, no one's touched it because everyone's broke, so that uh, that kind of works for me. Uh, I forgot to increase maintenance again. Tragic, honestly. You know, I haven't gone exploring in a while. I guess I have extra range. Plus, I do get these free explorers from time to time. We can just take a look. Here's what Tunis is over. Ah, uh, we should invade that guy, probably. If possible. All right, am I allowed to invade you? No. Damn. Just barely. Yeah, they just finished their war. That sucks. Okay, like, if I ask, if I beg, even, would you... No, nah, you wouldn't break the alliance. Uh, would you decrease your opinion, at least? Nope. Okay, that's really cool, I guess. All right, 
uh, we're going to have to do this again. <laughs> we're going to ally them and then we're going to have to break the alliance after we decide to tell them to uh, get rid of that whole thing they're doing there. Yeah, give me a second, Ottomans. I'm busy. OK, you're going to break your alliance with the Ottomans again. And yeah, I guess I could say yes to this. Sure. Right. And then I have to uh, get rid of this alliance with Unis again. You know, something tells me I think the Ottomans would actually uh, be fine by themselves in this war. I don't know what, just something about it gives me that impression. So I'll just sit here. I don't really care. All right, what is this? Volunteers of the Faith. Interesting. A decision rally the Volunteers of the Faith. It's like, okay, I guess. Actually, if I have a lot of colonial subjects, that's not bad. That means every war is 20% more manpower recovery speed, right? Because like, if a subject counts and they're all going to have my religion, suddenly that doesn't seem so bad. You know what? Maybe I will do that. Not that we really need the manpower. I mean, yeah. Wait, it cost 44 mil power. They didn't tell me that. Oh, well, that makes it a lot worse. Anyway, I just dev up Granada a little bit just because I have a mission to do that. And then we've restored Cortuba, giving us tolerance of heretics, which is not that useful, but okay, thank you. Okay, hold on a second. What's happening here? France has joined. Okay, interesting. I don't know if that was really necessary. I mean, I, I was just talking about how the Ottomans could solo Austria easily. You know, I'm not here to judge, but like, I, I don't I don't think he needs all this. Aragon joined a coalition. Oh yeah, I forgot you guys still existed. Whoops. Ah, uh, shouldn't be a big problem. But yeah, I really don't want to deal with that. Thank you. Sorry. Who is this? Landers? What? Hold on a minute. Since when do you take exploration ideas? Huh? Who's next? Norway? Scotland? Okay, yeah, actually Scotland does sometimes. That's pretty wacky. All right, well, uh, I don't want you to steal all of that, so time to start colonizing the Caribbean, I guess. Wait, why am I getting called for peace? I'm not the war leader. I can't do anything about this. It's literally just not my problem. Uh, some of the systems in this game uh, leave a little bit to be desired. Anyway, we'll finish off this expansion idea. This is actually a decent diplo policy, so we'll take it. And also this one is eh, not bad. Right then, we got minimum autonomy in territories, decrease global trade power, goods produced, and for defense all at once. Goods produced is probably the best thing there, but also the uh, decreased autonomy in territories is not bad. Also, the truce with Tunis is up. Uh, uh, like, even though it's not worth that much, we'll just invade them anyway. It makes the name look big on the map, which means I'm winning. Oh, I just realized we actually have a 0% uprising chance <laughs> now that we have the policy between exploration and expansion. So I don't actually need to have any of these guys here. In fact, once I'm done with Brazil, we're going to have uh, minus 150%. So that's cool. Oh, hey, we can become an empire. Took us long enough. All right, we're done with Tunis. I'll take all this stuff here. The coalition is non-existent. Yoink. Wait a second. Does that say Inca's opinion of me? Inca. Like, like an AI formed Inca. Really? I don't think I've actually ever seen that. AI actually forming Inca. That's pretty impressive. All right. The truce with Castile is up at last. They're 90% war score and we actually ended with 77 last time. So I don't know what they did, but that's kind of concerning. Oh my God. Can you believe it? We finally ended that war. I was at the point I was getting 0.17 monthly war exhaustion. That is ridiculous, man. Guess what? I get 2.3 ducats. Let's go. Yeah, that was definitely worth all that war exhaustion. I just want to end things quickly, so I'll assault all these forts. I lost literally less than 2,000 men there. That's not that bad. Now, if I wipe this army and stand on the capital, they should probably leave, I think. There we go. I'll just take war apps and a little bit of money. And that should be it for Castile. Bit of a coalition. Not really that big of a problem, though. All right, that's it. There's the achievement. Everything's been cored. I think that's where I'll finish off this run. Re-reconquista achieved. And a little bit extra here and there, a little bit of colonizing for the hell of it. As expected, number one, great power. Number one, economy, by far. And army, well, that's why the Ottomans aren't the number one power. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this re-reconquista in under a hundred years. The Andalusia mission tree is kind of interesting, although I would prefer if they had a couple more permanent modifiers. I mean, these are still like regular claims. I mean, like, come on, man, really? Regular claims? In 2023? Anyway, Andalusia is pretty strong. I am trying to put out like six colonies at the same time, and uh, even then, we're still making a decent amount of money. I have two level four advisors and a level three one. Army is not that expensive. If I could change one thing, I would probably start moving into Mexico. I know there's a lot of money you can make if you throw on Council of the Indies, and I would have liked to see that, but uh, it's just not going to happen, I guess. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video and for some reason you're still not subscribed at this point, you know, you should probably go ahead and do that. And a like would, of course, be hugely appreciated. But for now, this is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. Thanks again to the patrons who, for at least $1, got early access to today's video. 
In particular, Baby Cal, Q Brute, Quiet Guy, Torvald, Robert Colano, Ambient Cyan, James Levy, Chewy Shoot the Watcher, and Brova.